adventures with Sarah and Brandon. We're here for day one of the Sebago Lake Ice Fishing Derby. Super excited to be out here. Nice cold morning. Um, we were not able to bring our four-wheeler today, so we weren't able to go out as far as we wanted. Uh, with the weather the last few days, the ice has gotten pretty thin, and it was recommended to not bring any four-wheeler snowmobiles or anything like that. Um, somebody did go through yesterday, so we decided to be smart, um, so we walked out. So we didn't get as far as we wanted, but we're at, starting out here at 84 feet, working our way out to deeper water, hoping to catch some real good tow. Here we are, baby. We're at Sebago. Maybe Mark wants got whatever. Nothing there, huh? We don't so long. Not moving. Turn it to the side though. Um, was this the one that I had the uh, sucker on? I can't remember. No, the sucker's on that one over there. Oh, no. Okay. So no. It didn't take any line out, really. If you don't feel nothing, I'd just leave it there and rehook it back up. Yeah, I feel like there's. I'm not sure there's bait, but there may be. Oh well. I'll check it here in a minute. Yeah, I'll go set up my what I'm working on now. Uh, it took like a. I might have taken five feet out walking. Five I just saw a fish come across the sonar. And that's the most excitement I've had in hours. Uh, we, this is like the slowest fishing ever. We had three flags within a span of 10 minutes. Uh, one fish, uh, unfortunately it was a salmon, which is the one fish you can't catch. You have to take it off the hook and release it before you even take it out of the water. So that was a bummer. It looked like a really nice salmon though. And uh, when we set up, and I was using the sonar, I saw a fish on almost every trap. Um, and I've taken it out a couple times and seen absolutely nothing. No fish activity in any of the holes. I just saw one now, um, here at one o'clock. But it's not just us, you know, looking around. It's pretty packed here, and uh, I haven't seen anybody else running the flags, so really slow. Not sure why. Not sure what's going on. Um, got some snow squalls starting. The wind's been pretty brutal out here. But, you know, it may pick up this afternoon as we get closer to dark. Or uh, we may just have to hope that tomorrow's a better day. chase a flag in hours. It's just a super slow day. Sometimes, you know, the fish just know something going on in the atmosphere that we don't. Um, but we're going to be back here well before sunrise in the morning and uh, I'm betting tomorrow will be a much better day. This is actually the first day this year that uh, that skunk. It was bound to happen though, right? Didn't really want it to be at the derby here, but that's all right. Tomorrow will probably be a much better day. Join us. Day two here in Sebago. It's another beautiful and cold, cold morning. We changed locations a little bit. Uh, the ice is a little more reliable um, after being really cold yesterday and last night. So we walked out a little bit further, a little bit deeper. Chose a place on the map with a nice drop off. Um, seen some fish on the sonar already. So hoping to get a few more flags today than yesterday. 
in folks we need to get some fish today so we're gonna get some fish you give me a minute we're gonna get some fish here fishy 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 here fishy 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 they'll be right up we're gonna get some fish you stay right tuned hey guys i just uh sent up one of my um couple of my final holes here at sebago i am a person when i'm fishing for cusk and it's worked really well for me this year just not for cusk any fish i take a barrel swivel then i take about a two foot leader line probably about eight pound test and we're you know we're going for some big uh some big togue um out here today and i always put that on with a nice sharp hook that's very important that you do that and you don't want that to not hook into your fish while you're out um out fishing i mean it's very discouraging been there done that numerous times so i always uh have a nice sharp hook on there at all times um so uh let's see what we can do today see if we can get one landed so here we are at about 10 30 and uh not a single fly yet not what we were hoping for today um when we got here and i set up i saw a fish activity on about half of the holes we set up they did have something come up and hit one of my smelts immediately but didn't take it just nibbled and left but I've gone around a couple more times and I have not seen a single fish active anywhere. So I just moved two of my traps out further and a little over 100 feet. And I think Brandon's gonna do the same, just move around. Um, you know, it's kind of disappointing, but on the other hand, we've never fished here, which might be surprising because we do so much ice fishing that we wouldn't have come to Sebago, but we typically stay around north of where we are we like to go north um and this is pretty significantly south of where we live um so we just haven't tried it and it's a learning experience we did look at um the check-ins for the derby and the other two areas where people are fishing and checking in fish seem to have gotten a lot more fish checked in than this area so maybe this just isn't the best location overall we don't know until we find out um we may come back here and try some of the different areas of the lake um if the ice is reliable it's gonna be hot again, so it might not happen this year. But uh, hopefully moving these around in this afternoon, it's gonna cloud in, weather's gonna change a little bit. And I'm also gonna sit outside and jig. I'm gonna pull one of my traps up and jig. Uh, maybe I can attract something that way. We'll see, we're just gonna keep trying. So the Sebago Station check-in area. So I don't have a whole lot going on because there's not a whole lot of people catching fish, but there are some. So I'm going to check out the uh, donated fish. Yeah, but overall it was a very good weekend learned a lot that's the thing about fishing you go out you're always learning 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 so hey we learned we got skunk we'll come back we'll hit it harder the next time thank you all so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe